Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Sir Francis Drake. I take one finger at the top in the center and underneath I put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left, I'm going to draw a curve line down, straight line, curve line end, and leave it floating. Come back to the dot on the right, straight line, curve line down, curve line in, and connect. I come on the inside of the space starting on the left and I'm going to draw a curve line over, curve line down, curve line in, and stop. Come on the right hand side and we're going to draw that curve line over and leave that floating stop. Come back on the left, we're going to draw a curve line up, come back to the right hand side and draw a circle, come on the left hand side, we're going to draw a curve line up, come about midpoint and draw another circle, okay? Now I come on the right hand side and I'm going to draw a curve line out, curve line in, connect. He had really curly hair, so starting over here about midpoint on the left, I'm just going to do wavy wavy, loop de loop, wavy wavy, loop de loop, back and forth all the way, keep going, wavy wavy, loop de loop, wavy wavy, loop de loop. Just going to fill that in with curly hair, okay? Come down to the center and we're going to draw a curve line out, curve line in, up, connect, on the left, curve line out, curve line in, connect, on the right. Underneath, we're just going to put a little curve line, okay? Alright, starting on the left, we're just going to draw slightly curve line down and float on the top on the, in the center. Come on the right hand side, we're going to draw another slightly curve line down and let's see if we can connect the two. Okay. Come back on the right. We're just going to draw a little straight line. Curve line back up. Connect. And on the left, we're going to do it again. Straight line, curve line down. Connect. Starting on the left hand side, I draw a curve line, curve line, curve line going down. Curve line, curve line, curve line going up. Leave a space. Do it again. Curve line, curve line, curve line going down. Curve line, curve line, curve line up. Connect. If you have room for one more, curve line, curve line, curve line going down. Curve line, curve line, curve line going up and connect. On the right hand side, we're going to do the same thing. Jump over, curve line, curve line, curve line going down, curve line, curve line, up, connect, curve line, curve line, curve line going down, curve line, curve line, curve line, up, connect. One more if you have room. Curve line, curve line, curve line going down, curve line, curve line, curve line going up and connect. Right about here, we're just going to draw a curve line down off the page on the right. Come over to the left, we're just going to draw a curve line down off the page on the left. Okay? Now come back inside and on this space we're just going to do little straight lines top and bottom going all the way down little straight lines on the inside if I do it on the left I got to do it on the right little straight lines it's symmetrical going up and down all the way keep going keep going keep going keep going okay 
come back to these spaces right here and we're just going to mimic them with a wavy line down and a wavy line up wavy line down 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 wavy line up if you have room you can put a little spiral inside if you don't have room that's okay but if you do have room you might want to just add a little spiral inside the shape we just made now come back to the left and we're going to go one two three straight lines one two three straight lines jump over one two three straight lines one two three straight lines okay the last thing we do come back to the first space and just do curve line curve line curve line if you can fit it in curve line curve line curve line curve line curve line curve line if you can fit it curve line curve line curve line curve line curve line and curve line curve line curve line okay I think that's all let's see how we're gonna color him in okay Sir Francis Drake was a very pink man so the first thing I'm gonna do so I can see what I'm doing is I'm gonna take my pink and I'm just gonna color in his cheeks put a little bit of pink on his forehead and a little pink on his chin and this is his lip I'm gonna put a little pink there and I'm gonna add a little pink on his ear this is gonna be double colored triple colored we're gonna do a lot of coloring now after I've done that I got a peach and I did the rest of his face over the pink with peach if you don't have a face color he is so pink and so white this is one of those times where you can just leave your paper white and that would be fine because he was a ginger he was very pinky orangey red I mean orange and peach okay all right now once you've done that we're always going to be working light to dark so the first thing I'm going to do on this hair is I'm going to give him some orange and I just loop-de-loop -loop over the top of that okay his mustache is going to have orange his beard this is his beard down here we have to loop-de-loop -loop this going all the way up and loop-de-loop -loop this also all the way up okay do not be afraid of the color okay now so I can see what I'm doing I'm gonna take black and I'm gonna add his eyes so now you can kinda see what he's looking at okay now I'm gonna take brown and I'm gonna go over my mustache with some brown and I'm going to put a little brown on his lip and now I'm going every place I add orange I'm now going to add my brown okay do not be afraid to color dark go ahead and give him and he's got his beard which is going to be brown over the orange over the pink you know do not be fearful of adding color to this man okay now I really want his eyebrows to pop so I'm gonna take my orange and I'm gonna go above whoops I just broke my crayon sorry I'm gonna go above and below the black line and this section of this black line with orange then I'm gonna go over it with my brown okay so you can really see those eyebrows now take a moment stop what you're doing look at 
your drawing and see does he need more color somewhere do I need to darken up my brown you make a critical assessment is beard too light mustache needs to be filled in more you make that decision okay all right now this whole section all the way here is white and it's white lace so we leave it alone so what I'm going to do is color in the rest of his robe, or the rest of his, I guess it would be his shirt top. And this is all going to be brown. So you don't have to get in these design elements, but you do have to color his shoulders and the middle part of his shirt, cloak. waistcoat that whole section okay now the last thing we're going to do is color in the background and that is going to be totally light to dark so I'm going to start with my green and I'm just going to loop de loop lightly the whole entire background because if you look at a portrait of him he's against a black or almost looks dark brown I didn't quite want to go that dark because I didn't want to lose him. So I used a triple color. I did green first. I came over light to dark. Start with the lightest. Now I come in with my regular blue. Just go over the background so you can kind of see some kind of depth from the way he's sitting in front of the portrait. Plain. And then a little bit of black not a lot a little bit of black not a lot okay all right lots of triple colors double colors Sir Francis Drake okay let's see what he looks like all colored in okay here's Sir Francis Drake all colored in he was quite the adventurer and the explorer for Queen Elizabeth the first Took out the Spanish Armada, big ship fight. Okay, bye-bye.